Well, boomer, sooner, everybody. My name's Terry James. If you're a sports fan, you remember Monty Michael Jordan in the NBA and his flu game. Well, the other night, Trey Young wasn't feeling all that great. The biggest difference is Michael Jordan actually won that game. Trey Young lost this one to West Virginia of all teams. A very hard team to prepare for, by the way. Lost it 75 to 73 in Norman as the Sooners were edged by the West Virginia's by West Virginia Mountaineers for a sweep by the Mountaineers. The Sooners then lost another road game as the Sooner Rose Wolves continued on the road against the Cyclones of Iowa State. 88 to 80 for that one in Ames. All right, guys, we'll go back and we'll review these two tough losses for the Sooners next. Boomer Sooner 1982, don't go away. Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name is Harry James. We'll start with the one that's probably the toughest nail to bite. The first home loss of the season, 75-73. It was a loss to West Virginia as the Sooners were edged by West Virginia for a Mountaineer sweep. First half shooting for West Virginia actually shot 56.8% from inside the arc in the first half and 61.5% from the three-point bucket in the first half while Oklahoma shot 52.0% from inside the arc in the first half and were deadly 50% from outside the arc in the first half. Second half, the defensive abilities of both teams ranked up. In fact, West Virginia fell to 26.5% shooting in the first half, in the second half, I'm sorry, and just 8.3% from the three-point bucket, while the Sooners shot 38.7% from inside the arc and 30% from the three-point bucket. For the game, West Virginia shot 42.3% from inside the arc and 36.0% from outside the arc, while the Sooners shot 44.6% from inside the arc and 37.5% from the outside of the arc. The Sooners did lose the game 75-73, to but not to uh, be outdone was the pars. Points, assists, and rebounds mark. P for points went to Trey Young. 32 points for the young freshman. A in assists actually went to uh, Christian James, number zero, and numero uno, Richard Odoms. Both had two dimes on the night. And the rebounding leader was number three, Kadeem Latin. He had three boards. Or 13 boards, I'm sorry, 13 rebounds. The Sooners then had to take their road losing streak on the road again, and the Sooners' woes continue this year. Uh, just one Big 12 win, and it wasn't and it wasn't against the Cyclones of West Virginia. This one was at, uh, or Cyclones of Iowa State. I'm sorry. This one was actually an 88 to 80 loss. Um, stats of the night here they are. Uh, with Oklahoma shooting 33.3% from inside the arc and 25.0% from the three-point bucket, while the Cyclones of Iowa State shot 48.6% from inside the arc and 50% from the three-point bucket. Uh, second half, Oklahoma shot 53.3% from inside the arc and 18.2% from the three-point mark, while West Virginia shot 43.3% from inside the arc and 33.3% from the three-point bucket. For the game... Oklahoma shot 42.9% from inside the arc and 22.2% from the three-point bucket, while the Cyclones shot 46.2% from inside the arc and 41.2% from the three-point bucket, earning them the 88-80 win over the Sooners of Oklahoma. Parts, points, assists, and rebounds. Uh, 
the P for points actually went to two players. Uh, uh, number 11, Trey Young, and number 0, Christian James, each 22 apiece on this night. The assist, uh, the A for assists went to number uh, 11, Trey Young. He had 11 dimes. And the rebounding mark went to uh, the other scoring leader, number, number 0, Christian James. He had 9 boards. All right, guys. Uh, there you go. That's it. Um, you guys know the rest of the story. Uh, you can find this and all my other channels, uh, videos on YouTube, uh, Boomer Center 1982. They're also up on my Facebook page, at uh, Harry James Taylor, or on my Twitter, at Hype Man Harry. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and, uh, well, as always, guys, Boomer Center, everybody, take care. I'm out of here. See ya.